there are a lot of projects that a blacksmith can do that involves a tripod bottom, a uh, rush lamp, a simple candle holder like this one's going to be, um, the bottom end of a stand for fire tools, many th different things. So what I'm going to try to do in this video is to show a couple of ways that you can lay out this angle right here for these three legs. Now this one has a fourth, not a leg, but a handle going off the side. But you can see that the legs are splayed out evenly. Like a tripod. And that's what I'm going to go over is how to lay that out. It's not so much how to make this object itself, it's how to lay out for that tripod. So stick with me. Starting out and here we'll get with around two to pieces of one eighth by half inch, right at eight inches long. First, we'll round off these edges. to do both sides or both ends of one of them and one end of the other. Just like any square to round, first thing you do is go octagon. Take off the corners. And go round. Set that there. Take off the corners. Take off those corners. Take it around on those ends. Now I want to fuller that right behind that to make like a ball on the end. And for sure, a person could use a lot of different methods to fuller it. Could easily use a uh, blacksmithing magician. Could use a spring fullering tool, but another simple method that anybody can use is the reins from a pair of tongs. These happen to have 3 8 inch rod forge welded on them. That's what I'm going to use. Put that in the blacksmith's third hand. twist on me a little bit. Let's 
you get the gist of the idea. And we'll put a little bit of a taper on this side. that one is the one that only has on one end. We're done with it for right now. There, even that out a little bit. And the forging of the feet is done. Now, we'll do some more layout work. And we should have gained a little bit in length, and we did. It's right at eight and three quarter now. And we'll put in a center mark. Right there, and center punch that one. So that we'll have three legs the same length. Now, the legs, I don't want to be forming a right angle like that. I want them, I want the legs to be a tripod. So, I want this leg here to come up at a 60 degree angle. from the base of the anvil here. That'll give me a 120 degree angle here, which is what I want. So how do we do that? There's a couple ways. One way is to create a hexagon. A hexagon is formed when you have three lengths of a triangle that are exactly the same length. So I can use this ruler. This is a log rule by the way. And get that angle right there. Now if I turn that over like this, set that right there, I can simply make a mark this angle right here will be 
120 degrees. This one being 60. Another way to lay that out is if you take a circle, any circle, draw a circle, keep your compass at that distance, and start at one spot Make a mark, make a mark, and walk that compass around set to that radius. You'll have the sides of a hexagon because the sides of a hexagon, the length of them are equal to the radius of the circle. So, using that to our advantage, this right here is the angle we're looking for. By using that, if we make a spot here at the corner of the anvil, strike a spot right here and come up about say right in here if you put this point, compass point over on this side where are those two right there is that 120 degree mark if we take a straight edge, and go like that, I'll create my triangle again with my ruler, and there we go, right along there. That angle right there. is the angle I'll be shooting for on that one set of legs. Let's see how that works out. And we're there. And there we have the tripod. Of course, for a lot of a lot of projects, you won't you won't have this piece sticking out here. I'm going to use this for a um, for a handle. But for most tripods, you would you would cut this off right here, scarf this end and a little bit on each side of this. Scarf the leading edge right here and then forge weld them together. But because I'm I'm going to extend that on out into a handle, I'm going to scarf both sides of the arc and both sides of this leg on each side here and weld those together. I went ahead and, and cut out a drip pan or a bow bash. I use a, a, a hole saw to cut those out in my drill press. Put it on my swedge block, dish it out. This is all the further I'm going to go on this project. It was more of me showing you how one way to lay out those legs and to get that angle right there. And seeing how that's done, I'm done.